Hi, hi. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good. <clears throat> How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Did you have a nice day? Yes, I did. Excellent. Is it raining where you live? Is it raining? No, it is no. not yet. Okay. But it's it's cold. It's cold. Oh, I see. Ooh. Here a little bit too. Probably it will rain later. In the afternoon when I came home, it was it was like about two to trying to rain. <clears throat> but at the end, I guess it didn't rain. I came to, to class, so I didn't notice. But I guess it didn't rain. But probably later, if no, one of these days, right, we will have a, a surprise of having the first rain of the year during the day. Because we already had a couple of rains, but at night, but not during the day, right? Okay, wait, no. <clears throat> Let's see. Checking, checking. <coughs> Who are already here? Vamos a ver me Wednesday 15, March 15, Marching. Brian Alexander. Brian Alexander. No here. Mm -hmm. No. Camilo. Camilo. Clarixa. Clarixa. Daniel Eduardo. Daniel Eduardo. Débora Stephanie. Sí, teacher. Present. Present, teacher. Ok. Débora, ¿verdad? Sí. Elmer Antonio. Present teacher. Eric Gerardo. Good evening, Miss. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine. Fine. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Nice, nice. Eric Gerardo. Eric. No. Eric. Present teacher. Guillermo Alberto. Guillermo. No. Isaías Santana. Presente. Ibet Elvira. Present teacher. Carla Vanessa. Present. Luis Enrique. Present. Manuel. Present, um, Miss. Aún no llego a casa, Miss. Todavía en tráfico. Voy, sí, ahorita voy en camino todavía. Voy a estar de oyente un rato. Gracias, Miss. Bueno. Eh, Reina Estela. Reina. Rosibel. Present, Miss. 
Vanessa Victoria. Present teacher. Elvina Lupita. Present Miss. Antonio. Okay. I'm going to call one more time in case anybody is here. Right. Oh, here. Okay. I'm going to call you again in case somebody's somewhere there and didn't say present at the beginning. Brian Alexander. Camille Ernesto. Clarissa. Eric Gerardo Present teacher, solo que voy a estar de oyente porque estoy en el trabajo aún okay. Bye. Okay. Eh, Guillermo Alberto Guillermo eh, Reina Estela y Belisario Antonio ¿Mm? no Vaya, okay. Este, voy a hacer un comercial antes de que se me olvide. Eh, quiero ver. Mm. Pues no. Ay, me acuerdan después. <ríe> Teacher, y el comercial, ¿qué dijo que iba a hacer? Y todavía no están los que necesito que oigan, así es que no vean. No lo vamos a hacer después. Ok. Mm -hmm. Bueno. Uh, today, it's our class number eight. Right, class number eight. We ready to begin a new challenge, a new topic. And <clears throat> if you have noticed, we have been uh, using, we have been studying modas, right? First, we were working with a can. El, just, well, yesterday, right? We were using can. Before can, we were using another moda. Let me see. I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about how to, we were talking about a have to, remember have to for obligation. We were using can to talk about possibility. And we were using and be going to, that is not a model, right? But it's to talk about future. Um, we were also using can and could to talk this time about request. And today we are going to use may and might. The uses of may and might, mostly possibility. And we, tomorrow, tomorrow, we are going to use would and would like. And would is also a modern. Thank you. Wood is also a model, right? So we're talking about all the models one by one. And after we finish with the model in the next unit, we move to talk about the past, right? So we will give a complete change because we finish with models tomorrow, okay? There are many more models, right? That later on in a more advanced level, you will study the others. Today, for today, we're going to be talking about possibility may and might, okay? And uh, the topic today is uh, how to use may and how to use might. And that's the objective. Participants will be able to prepare a short conversation in which they are showing dissatisfaction about a product they received or bought in a hypothetical conversation. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be talking about 
we're going to be talking about this. What is satisfaction means you're happy, right? When you are satisfied, that means you're unhappy. But when you are dissatisfied, that means you are not happy, right? That's the opposite. It's not happy. You're not happy about something. So that's what you're going to talk about today. When you buy things, you're not always happy, right? With what you buy. If there is a problem, and that's what you're going to express today. Okay. Well, I have a couple of questions for you. First, how was the last purchase you did? Is it good? Is it bad? Were you satisfied or dissatisfied with that purchase? Remember yesterday we said that purchase is a, is a shopping, right? It's, that means um, with something that you bought. So how was the last thing you bought? Were you satisfied with the product you got or were you dissatisfied with the product you got? And then um, you will tell me about a customer that bought something in your company was the customer satisfied or was the customer dissatisfied? Okay. Yeah, think about you selling something and you buying something in your company. Any question? No question. Mm -hmm. No. Purchase, what is purchase? A purchase is something you buy. You buy. When you buy something, you make a purchase. Una compra. Right? Okay. So how was it? Was it good? Was it bad? Was it wonderful? Was it horrible? How was it? Right? How was that purchase? And at the end, were you happy? Remember when you took it, when we say satisfied means you're happy. Were you happy with the product or were you unhappy with the product? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what you're going to do. Then you move to think about a customer that got something from your company, can be a product or a service. Was the customer satisfied? Or was he dissatisfied? Remember, we're talking about customers, a, a product or service, depending on what you sell in your company. Okay? Well, I'm going to send you in groups. You are 15. I'm going to make groups of three. Um, hmm. Pero cuando estoy insatisfecha, ¿qué palabras o, o qué adjetivos podría utilizar? I'm happy, dissatisfied, upset, right? You get, you get upset or disappointed about something that you have got in. Because if it's not what you expected, right? So you say, mm, it was not what I expected. So I am unhappy about the product I bought. Yeah? Any other question over there before I send you? Any other question? No. Okay. No. I'm going to send you in groups of four because of the ones that are still on at work, because the ones that are still traveling. So you have enough people to, to talk, right? Let's see, vámonos. Daniel, Carla, Manuel, and Rosibel. Manuel is in traffic. Clarixa, Elmer, Luis Enrique, Lupita. I think the four are in the middle. Deborah, Isaiah, Sibeta, and Reina. And here I'm going to make a change. Fíjense. Because Eric is traveling. Eric is traveling. Thank you. Vamos a 
y me qué pasó con eso. Y no me hace caso. Vale, ahí está. Hoy sí, hoy sí, hoy sí. Así tengo por lo menos tres personas que están, que están libres, ¿verdad? Y el que está trabajando para que los pueda escuchar. Va, there we go, try to join. <coughs> ¿Estamos satisfechas o insatisfechas? Ya bueno. sea de algún producto, al medio entendí que como que de algún viaje o algo así. Algún producto que compró. Que compró. Okay. Pucha es no es viaje, pucha es, 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 es compra. Ah, sí, sí, no, pero yo pensé, yo medio entendí eso. O quizás hoy más. ¿Quién te escucha? Noté que era de compra. Ajá, el ah, es una compra, sí. Imagínese que la línea aérea no me haya gustado cómo me traten. Ah, en ese caso es un servicio. Un boleto. Sí, un ticket. Se puede comprar, comprar una, hacer una compra de un producto o de un servicio. ¿Verdad? Ah, y ese es un servicio. Sí. Okay. Pero está bien, es válido. Qué válido. No, pero como ni sabemos cómo son, bueno, yo no sé cómo son así, entonces mejor de algún producto. <risa> pues sí. ¿Verdad? Sí, pues sí. No. Ah. Éramos, éramos tres. Wow. Solo usted y yo. No, aquí estoy pues, también. Ahí está. Ah. Ajá. Sí, sí. Manuel está Bye. en tráfico, oye. Ah, va. Ahorita va. con tanto loco suelto hay que estar bien pendiente del camino. Ay, oh, Ay sí, qué va. terrible. Terrible los accidentes. Vaya, pregunta pues. ¿De qué, de qué lo hacemos? Hello. How was your push? Did you like it? <laughs> Ahí pregunto. Que si está contento con su oh. compra, ¿verdad? Um, pues yo le voy a poner. ¿Cómo se decía? Dislike. No, no es dislike. Pero... Tendría que preguntar primero qué compraste, ¿verdad? Para que después ahí ah. le pregunte que si está satisfecho. Pero ese sería como una atención al cliente, ¿verdad? Como una encuesta. No, una conversación entre amigos. Mm -hmm. Entonces ahí. Hello, what do you buy? Hello. Or what do you push? ¿Verdad? Ah. What did you purchase? Puches. What do you purchase? Purchase. What Purchase. Ah, no, purchase se escribe, ¿verdad? Purchase, sí, sí. <laughs> Y, y se pronuncia purchase. 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 Y ahí contesta y de ahí sigue Daniel y pregunta otra cosa sí. y así. Exacto. Ahí, ¿qué compró Daniel? Hola. Hola, Daniel. Ah, poner que I, I push her uh, to ticket for pizza. Ticket for what? For pizza. No, oh, ¿por qué? For it's okay, it's it. okay. Yes. Vale, entonces ahí tiene que hacer la pregunta. Well, sería pur, purchase for tickets. Are purchased tickets. 
a purche. No lleva el fortiche. A purche for ticket. No, es solo el, es, I purchase ticket. A, a purchase ticket. Eh, oh, eh, luego lo ponemos. Tanto que hablo y aquí no, no hablo. <risa> ah. Y por decir, por decirle qué te pasó, qué te pasó con eso sería what, what happened, what happened uh, with that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Entonces, ¿qué tendría que ponerle yo que? Se diría que me fue mal o me fue bien, digamos, si se la compra. Independientemente, no importa. No importa, puede estar satisfied o dissatisfied. It's okay. ¿Y cómo es? Insatisfecho, insatisfied. Dissatisfied. Dissatisfied. The ticket is valid for two days after. Así está bien, teacher. Está insatisfecho porque es válido dos días después. Porque, por ajá, porque, días. Lo, ajá, porque lo, el ticket era válido solo por dos días. Ajá. ajá. Así, como, así como tres gigas que me mandaron a mí de Dincel. Era mentira. Y a los tres días me dijeron, ya venció tu paquete extra. Nah, no había gastado ni el que había comprado, mucho menos. El... <risa> <risa> Va. Entonces, ¿cómo, ¿cómo dijo don Dani? Eh, eh, ¿Cómo es? In... Ay, se olvidó. Unsatisfied. 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 Dissatisfied. Con D. Dissatisfied. Dissatisfied. Pero esa aquí es insatisfied, ¿verdad? Es insatisfied. No, dis. Dissatisfied. The ticket is valid for two days after. Ajá. For two days. After. After. The ticket is valid. It's valid. For only two days. For only two days. Okay. Uh -huh. Puede ser after pusher, ¿verdad? Para agregarle el, el... After the purchase. Antes de la compra, ¿verdad? Sí. O después, ah, después de la compra, perdón. Mm -hmm. It was valid only for two days after the purchase. Okay. Valid for only two days. Because is very good. Podemos poner because uh, is very good price o con buen precio. Ajá. O buen mm -hmm. almacenamiento. O buena uh, cámara, algo así. Uh, ajá. O podemos empezar con algo general. It was an excellent purchase. Fue una excelente compra. Because. Okay. Uh, um, de ahí podemos, o sea, ya, ya definimos que fue bueno. Entonces, my last purchase was a cell phone. I, I am, veamos, escribámoslo para que no se nos olvide la idea. My last purchase was a cell phone. Eh, ahí pusiste, I am. My last purchase. La, ahí se la escribí en, 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 el, en el chat. Mira, my last purchase no was a phone. Ah, aunque sería cell phone, ¿verdad? Was a cell phone. Uh -huh. My last I am satisfied. My last purchase was a cell phone. Hi, Miss. ¿Cómo dijo, Miss? My last purchase was a cell phone. Ah, eh, ajá. Sí. My Porsche. What a cell phone. What a cell phone. Uh -huh. Es decir, mi última compra fue un celular. Sí, lo tenía. 
correcto. Ajá. Vaya, eh, Ajá. llegamos a la conclusión de que fue una compra satisfecha. Ahora, o sea, no hubo insatisfacción. ¿Por qué? ¿Cómo? Oh. Ah. Entonces, I am satisfied. Because. Because. Sería, ¿por qué? Ah, because. Sí. because. ¿Por qué? Como pregunta sería, why. ¿Por qué? Why, ajá. Mm, ¿Por sí, qué? Que Entonces, why. Puesto, habíamos puesto, I am satisfied because eh, is a, ¿qué opción que hicimos? Is very, eh, no, pero, el, 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 how do you say? Uh, artículo Artículo. por an object en este caso que envían aire por an object an object object por an object ajá cómo se escribe mi object por an object uh, an ah, object object object, object. Okay. o okay. b j e c t, j -E -C -T. Mm -hmm. object okay Because it's very, very yes. good object, así. Okay. Esa era la idea que tenía. It's a very good object. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, it was uh, uh, Sí, pongamos eso. It was an excellent portion. Excellent. Uh, excellent portion. Oh, sure. Se le puede poner ahí by price. O, 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 o explicamos más. Porsche. Mm, podría ser good, good price. Eh, 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 bate. Cámara. ¿Cómo se dice cámara en inglés? Excelente. Cámara. Cámara. Entonces, ahí con lo que teníamos, eh, podríamos poner It was an excellent purchase uh -huh. by, by their price. Escribilo. Ah, ok. Eh, sería It was. Was or, or was, Miss? Miss. Hello. Hello, Miss. Yo creo que ya se fue. Se fue la Miss. Yo creo. ¿Cómo? Disculpen que me quedé. ¿Cómo se dice cámara en inglés hoy? ¿Qué dijeron? Camera. The camera. Camare. Camere. Camera. Camere. Camera. ¿Cómo se escribe, no? Camera. Camera. Así, así, camera. Camera. Sí. Cámara. Cámara. Sí. Ajá, en vez de la A, de más, póngala ahí. Eh. Ajá, exactly. Cámara. Cámara. Good price, good camera. Ajá. Cámara. Cámara, ¿qué? Cámara. Muchas gracias. Ahí les puse lo que la idea que yo estaba pensando. Y vos. Miss es, se pronuncia was o was. 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 It, it was an excellent purchase by the price. It was an excellent purchase. Bye. Bye. Okay. Right. En good camera. Ahí está. Y 
Y para decir que tiene, eh, utilizamos el has. Has, it, depende. It si, es, si es este, ¿cómo se llama? De tercera persona sería has. Eh, pensando en el objeto, it, it, it has a good camera. It has a good camera. Yeah. Uh -huh. It has a good camera. camera. Uh, with uh, high definition. It has good definition. It has it has a good definition. It has it has, uh, it has a good definition. It has Ah, bueno. a good, a good definition. Definition. Sí. Pudiéramos poner también como sería. I like her. I like uh, her. The, I like her. Yeah. I like. And I like uh, the design. Tell. Then I like. I like. Their design. Their design. Mm -hmm. Um, ¿Cuál de esas nos, nos menciona? Eh, de ahí donde dice T-Work. ¿Es el producto a good one o bad one? Miss, we, we had a problem to answer to answer oh. about this dissatisfied. Dissatisfied means that you know how me. Yes, I know, but how can I um, how can I say my my disgusting? No sé, I don't know. That you are dissatisfied. Mm -hmm. You can say, baje a mostrar las preguntas que están ahí. No, mucho, 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 mucho. Sube las preguntas. Uh -huh. Eso es. How was the last experience of your customer's purchase? Was it satisfying or dissatisfying? If it was dissatisfying, why was it dissatisfying? Mm -hmm. Y la otra pregunta que les había puesto yo es, if you were, uh, how was your last purchase? And were you satisfied with your last purchase or were you dissatisfied with your last purchase? Were you satisfied with your last purchase? You tell me yes or you tell me no. no. Y por qué? Por qué? Because the value of the product was poor. ¿Verdad? Que es lo que tienen en la parte dos. Um, because the quality was terrible. It was very low quality. Because the material was not good. Or because it was not what I expected. Entonces ahí es donde ustedes darían los motivos de por qué la, la insatisfacción sobre el producto. Podría repetir, it's not that I was expected. It's not what I expected. What I? What I expected. It was, it's not what I expected. O sea, yo esperaba algo mejor, ¿verdad? Para el precio, esperaba algo más. Pero no, no me satisfizo lo que recibí. It was not what I expected.
And the other one, the, you said because the the case was el pro, no. It was so quality. No, usted mencionó como, como que el producto no era bueno, pero por la ay por el material, algo así, algo así dijo. Ajá. The material was poor, creo que dice allí, check. Eh, ah, the value of the product was poor. O it was of low quality. Ese que tiene la, la que tiene marcada en la número 11. It was of low quality. The material was not very good. The material was not very good. Okay, me thank you. Okay, what about the pro a product that you bought? Were you satisfied or dissatisfied about the last product you bought? I was telling to my 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 friends that I bought a bottle of water. It a bottle of water. Expensive. Yes, uh -huh. it was expensive. but I and I know I that the the bottle has a I don't know how do you say oil. A hole. I uh -huh. that that yeah. has happened to me too. Uh -huh. ha, has had a had a hole it had and a hole. hole down, as you say, it had a hole. Pero, pero el agua se cayó, uh, the water fell down. Well, the down. water fell down. Uh -huh, the water, the water fell, down. fell down, yeah. And I was dissatisfied because the value of the product was poor. Mm -hmm. yeah. My ¿qué? my last purchase it's a banana. Okay. Um I am satisfied with the product. They were delicious and sweet. Okay, good. And the price? Was it good? Um and good, good. Acceptable. Uh, yes. <laughs> Acceptable. Yes. Okay, great, great. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Think, valían cinco centavos. Cada they, they were five. Uh, Estaban en oferta. <laughs> they were five cents each. Uh, well, they were have five cents. I satisfied what with, with press, precio. The price. Value. The price. Um, <laughs> will you continue using this product? Yes. Okay. You will continue buying bananas there. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. Mama Naja. I am mute. <clears throat> okay. We're going to check, right? Uh, what are uh, some things that we can uh, that we keep in mind when we are satisfied? And what are things that we can take into account when we are unsatisfied when we buy something, right? Right, a ver. Um, what are some things that a customer can mention 
for being satisfied about a product. Oh, be satisfied about a product. Uh -huh. Who can tell me? What are some of those things that people take into account? To say, yeah, my product was very good. I'm satisfied with the product. Why well, am dissatisfied with the product? Mm -hmm. Look at this. They can say, oh, you know what? I'm dissatisfied because the product is so very, very low quality, right? So the quality of the product is not very good. Oh, the value of the product is very poor. Mm -hmm. So these are some uh, situations that people can mention for being dissatisfied about a product or a service, right? So they can be dissatisfied because of this, because the product is not very good or because the material that was used for the product was not the best one. Imagine uh, you buy key, a cell phone, right? And they tell you, okay, it has 10 megapixels. So you will take very good pictures. But at the end, at the end, you don't get the pixels that you expected, right? So it tells you, well, you know what? It has three cameras. But at the end, only one works well, and the other one doesn't. See? So in that case, you may say, mm, I am dissatisfied. Oh, very dissatisfied. Why? Because my product that I bought was very low quality. Or because it was not what I expected. I expected three cameras of good quality, the three. But it is poor, right? It has a very poor quality, okay? Now, check this. This is a survey, right? Uh, this is a survey as the way you were talking about the, your last purchase. This is a survey uh, about a product, about a customer's experience with a product, and check what happened. When they ask the customer, how satisfied are you with this product? They said, dissatisfied, most of them, right? Um, right, can you write your opinion about the product? And they said, very low quality. Not even average, right? Not even low quality, but very low quality. The value of the product is poor. At least they didn't say very poor, right? Will you continue using this product? And the answer was no. So what you're going to do now after checking this survey, right? Answer the questions. Answer these questions. A, how was the customer's experience? Was it good? Was it bad? Is the product a good one or a bad one? And the last question. Think about possible problems the customer had with the product. What are some problems that the customer had with the product? Okay, think a, a little bit about these uh, questions. You can go back, oops, you can go back, read this survey, and then answer the question. Yeah, read the survey and then answer these questions. I'm going to give you, but I'm going to change your partners now. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes, just about five minutes for you to go back through the survey, discuss the questions, and then be ready to share. I'm going to leave you in, in a small group, in. Well, they are not too small, they are groups of work, right? For you to be enough people to talk.
There we go, join, join. Remember, look at the information in the survey and then answer the equations. What, what page teacher the student book? Um, 23. Thank you. 23. Join, join. Join Eric Isaias, Clarissa, Clarissa. Hmm. Hi. Hi, Reina. Hi, Hi. Uh, Camilo is here, right? Camilo and Isaias, hello. Hello. Okay, we are working on page 23. Page 23. Camilo. Camilo, Camilo, no. The, the customer experience eh, en, en ese caso fue por mala pues por mala entonces eh, si, si vemos el contexto eh, eh, yo, yo les decía I want solar customer a bed and he was dissatisfied because the bed was very small. Entonces, aquí voy a poner, si tomamos esa experiencia, how was the customer experience? Uh, the customer experience uh, sería uh, was bad, o, o hablamos mm -hmm. de una no sé, dissatisfied. Mm -hmm. Was uh, I am um, very dissatisfied. I think it's very dissatisfied. Uh -huh. Entonces pongamos así va. Eh, um, como estamos aprendiendo, considero yo que 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 se puede repetir. Uh -huh. Entonces pongamos eh, la respuesta uh -huh. larga. The uh -huh. customer uh -huh. ex experience. Was. Was. Was, perdón. Uh, was. Uh, the experience is. Is. Dissatisfied. Is. Dissatisfied. 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 Right. Teacher, que, si le hemos entendido, estamos leyendo la número dos. Y con eso contestamos las preguntas del, del punto 3. Correcto. Sí. Ok. Eh, question 2. Is the product a good one, one a bad one? Or bad one. Is uh, the product is of very poor quality. Is 
very low quality. A good one or bad one? The product, the product bad. A good, es bad bueno one. o malo. Eso es lo que le pregunta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. Y entonces dice, ¿a dónde habla de la calidad? A Very arriba. low. Uh -huh. en, uh -huh. en, en la número Very dos. Low. Great your opinion about the product quality. Very low quality. Very low es muy poquita calidad, ¿verdad? O muy baja calidad. Very low uh -huh. quality, sí. Entonces la respuesta es aquí. The product is very low quality. It's a very low quality. Very low quality. Bah. Y la número tres. Think about possible problems the customer had with the product. ¿Qué problemas podemos tener with Think about, piensa en los posibles problemas de customer, del cliente. Que el cliente que el ha tenido producto. con el producto. Ajá. Ajá, que tenga con el producto. Will you sí. continue using the product? No. But the value of the product, the product is, is full. full. Sería uno, no. Eh, el yes. valor del producto. Es pobre, vea lo que quiere decir. En, entonces, sin capaz. Aquí que no lo recomendaría, vea. Definitely ajá. no. ¿Cómo te Definitely no. Ajá. Do no recommend it. Ajá, no recommended, eso. No recommended. Ajá, y cuando le pregunta y lo volvería a comprar, ahí está, vea, use the product, no. Would you use no it again? Ajá. No. Customer insatisfied. 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 Tal vez escribiéndolo se me queda, como se escribe. Insatisfied. No, no Insatisfied. Va. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Alguien más que quiera opinar? Agregar, quitar. No sabía que se decía pool para decir que, que pensé que pool solo era ser refería a la people, al, uh. al country, al, ajá. Ajá, no. pero no, también de, de product. Ah, uh, ok. Uh. The product is pool, the material. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y si quiere decir que compré una pupusa y estaba pobre de comida. Que compró, ah, también. La pupusa. It had nothing. It had nothing inside. Oh, okay. Ajá, uh -huh. so you can say it was true. Uh -huh. If it had nothing inside, it was true. Ah, okay. You finished. Right? Yeah. En la primera pregunta, si está en pasado, se ve la respuesta... Was. Tendría que ser en pasado también. Ajá. Was the y veo que dice, the is. experience is... Ajá. Tendría que ser was. Was, ¿verdad? Was the customer's experience, the experience was... Mm, the, the experience was bad. The, the customer, the experience was bad. The customer was satisfied. Mm -hmm. No es, 
The experience was dissatisfied. Ah, no, the experience was Iniciar bad. con the customer ah. por, para poder continuar con, con uh -huh. la pregunta. Let's go. El producto es bueno o malo. Y bad. Is, bad. Is, ba is, is good. Bad. Is good. Es producto guapo. The, what was good, Clarissa? Mande. What was eh, good? Do, del producto que o sea del zapato, caso mío, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá. Uh, era de eso, mente, de zapato, es lo que es un buen producto. Is product a good. The product was good. It, ajá, uh -huh, it, the product a good. The product. Yeah, the shoes. The shoes. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. The product was good. But what about uh -huh. the experience? The product. Disculpe, teacher. What about the experience? Was the experience good? <clears throat> eh, eh, yes, yes. Mm. Uh, good. It was a good experience. Okay. Okay, Bye. same product a go. The product a go. Okay. This product a go. The product was. 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 Uh -huh. Was good. Yes. Was good. Uh -huh. Okay. Bye. Bye. A check. Remember that what you were checking was the survey, right? Okay. He said that the, hmm, how was, oh, how satisfied are you with the product? Is they satisfied, right? And the person rated the product as very low quality. Then the value of the product was poor, totally poor. Will the person continue using the product? Well, no, definitely mm -mm, no. Now let's see the questions that you were answering about it. How was the customer's experience? How was the customer's experience? Yes, Luis Enrique. Excuse me, Miss. How was the customer's experience? According to the, uh, the right? customer Remember, experience was okay. Uh, the customer experience was the uh, satisfying. Mm -hmm. But check one thing: the person was dissatisfied, right? That how was uh -huh. the experience. If the person says, nah, yeah, I'm dissatisfied, how was the experience? Was the experience good or was the experience bad? Uh, the experience is bad. Uh -huh. So the question is, how was the experience, right? So we can say. And uh, the customer experience was bad. Uh -huh, exactly. The okay. customers. Experience mm -hmm. was bad. Why? Uh, because uh, he was gay. This I, I see. Uh, the customer's experience was bad because. Because the, 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 he was mm -hmm. dissatisfied. Uh -huh. dissatisfied. Yeah. So the customer's experience was bad. But why do we say that the experience was bad? Because the customer, let's suppose it's a he, when we do not know if it is a he or a she, we can use him, right? So the customer's experience was bad. Why? Because he was dissatisfied. Okay, so you give me a long answer, right? Is the product a good or a bad one? According to the survey. Um, the product if, was good. Are you sure? Yes, miss. In my case, yes. According to the survey. Uh, Okay. Into this survey. That product was uh, 
es, es bad. Y Beth, what do you have here? Was the product good or bad? Bad. Mm -hmm. um, question one and dissatisfied. No, yes. uh -huh. no can. Was good. dissatisfied. He was bad. bad. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Okay, so the product was bad. The product was bad. Mm hmm. The product was bad. It was a bad product. Why was the product bad? Why? Why do we say that the product was bad? Because uh, it had a couple because, of problems, right? Uh, there the, some of the, the problem was the size. Uh, the customer need uh, a uh, uh, big bed and buy a, a small bed. And got a small one. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Exactly. So, was the product what the customer expected? Mm, mm? Maybe. Was the was the product what form. the customer expected? Yes or no? Uh, no. No, because he was dissatisfied. And if you don't get what you expect, you get dissatisfied, right? Okay. A ver. What were some of the problems? According to the survey, remember, right? We're talking about this survey. According to this survey, what were some of the problems? That the product, we don't know what the product is, right? Quality or very. Luis Enrique says could be a bed. Yeah, sure, could be a bed. Could be a camera, could be a cell phone, could be whatever, right? We don't know. We don't know what the product was, but the product was poor, right? That's one of the problems. The value oh, okay. of the product, yes? The, product. the value okay. of the product was okay. poor. Uh huh. The value of the product of the product was poor. What else? What else can you tell me? What was another problem? We have many. What was another problem? Mm -hmm. What about the rate? How did they rate it? What about the quality of the product? Was it of good quality? Uh, because the, the product has low quality. Ah, okay. The product had, didn't have. Mm -hmm. Didn't. Didn't have a good quality. Didn't have low quality. Quality. Okay. The product didn't have a good quality. What else? Do we have another problem here? Huh? What could be another problem that we find here? Another uh, average. No, you said the page, the page web. No recommending. Oh, no, the people will not recommend that product. It was not average, not even average. Average is not good, right? That yeah, can be acceptable. If it is average, it can be a little bit acceptable. But if it is low quality, right? Did they have a good quality? It was of a low quality. Yes, it was of a low quality. And then another problem is that the cost, um, the customer will not recommend with the, will not recommend it. But why is not recommend it? The customer 
didn't like it, right? Mm. Uh -huh. The customer didn't like the product, was unhappy with the product. Okay. So you see, apart of being of a low quality, it was of who it was a very poor product, and the customer will not recommend it because he didn't like it. It was not what he expected, so he will not recommend it. Yes. Any question here? No. No. Now, check. Here we're talking about the satisfaction and the satisfaction. Low quality. Low quality. Or era it. Porque ahí puso I was. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It was of low quality. Mm -hmm. It. Yeah, it. It was of low quality. Sí, porque yo no era de mala calidad. El product. <laughs> okay. Now. Let's talk about the models that we have to discuss today. Check. We are we're going to use may and might, right? So let's talk about how we will use these two models. Remember, I told you at the beginning, we have been talking about models. And these are two more models that we're going to use. I may ask for a refund. Repeat the sentences after me. I may ask for a refund. I may, I may ask, ask for, for a, a refund. refund. You refund. may buy at a different yeah. store. You may, you may buy, buy at a, buy different, a store. different store. They may not provide a good service. They, they may not, not provide, provide, a, provide good a good service. It may not reach your expectations. I may not reach your expectations. 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 She might, expectations, yes. expectations. She might want a refund on those units. Mm. She might They might complain about the service. They, they might, might complain about, about the service. service. About the service. We might ask to talk with the supervisor. We might, might ask, to ask to talk to with the supervisor. With the, so I, so with the supervisor. supervisor. We supervisor. might ask to talk we with to talk we might not buy her again he might not buy here again he might not buy buy here again. again okay check it what is refund i don't know <laughs> refund is reembolso reembolso uh, if you don't like a product you can ask for a refund Right, so I give the product, you give me my evolution for the evolution. Yeah, that's what you call refund. Mm -hmm. Refund, right? Refund, Re devolution, no sé si existe, pero refund, sí. <laughs> <laughs> right? Refund, sí. Cuando usted lleva el producto, miren, no me gustó, no sirve, porque si no le gusta, mm -hmm. sí, como que. In the United States, it's very common that yes. people go buy a dress. They don't take the tag. El tag es la viñeta, ¿verdad? They don't take the tag of the dress and they use it. And the next day, they go to the store and say, buy a quista, I don't want it again, right? That, that's, that's a custom for them. But in El Salvador, that's not useful. We do not do that. We do it only if the product is not in good condition, right? But if the product is in good condition, they will not accept a refund, okay? Right. But check here. A refund is when you take the product to the store and they give you your money back. 
right? That's a refund. Most of the time, they don't like to make a refund. They prefer to make an exchange. Exchange es cuando te entrega el producto que tiene y le dan otro cambio. Eh, sí, le dan otro que vale lo mismo, ¿verdad? Puede ser el mismo color o el, bueno, el mismo producto en un diferente color o puede ser otro producto, right? For example, Simán, when you get Other a side. when you get a present, right? When you get a present, uh, imagine you get a shirt, but you don't like it. You don't like the color. You can go if the person who bought the shirt gave you the receipt by a Thomas. No le gusta la yo cambio, right? Then you can go with the receipt. And with that receipt, you can go and ask for a, a, another product, right? So you can ask uh, for, imagine it was a red shirt. And you say, I don't like red. For example, me, if you have noticed in these eight days, you've never seen me in red, right? Because I don't wear red. I don't like it in clothes. I like it in flowers, in other things, but in clothes. Mm -mm. So imagine it is a red shirt. And then you say, I come here because I don't like the color. I don't look good on red, right? I don't look good. Así dice usted, no me veo bien. I don't look good in red. So I want to exchange it for a blue one or for a green one. Yes. And then you exchange. You give the red, they give you a blue one. When you give the red, they give you a green one. Right? That's ex what we call exchange. But refund, no. You give the product, they give you the money. Yeah. And let's see. Okay. Quiero ver aquí había otra palabra. Complain. What does it mean, complain? ¿Qué significa complain? ¿Mm? Eso creo que es como quejarse. Exactly. They might complain about the service. Uh, in some stores, when you complain uh, because of a bad service, they give you something in change, in change, right? Like, okay, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Here you have this, uh, for example, Pizza Hut is an example, right? When you complain because you got something, imagine you order a pizza of pepperoni and you got a, a, a ham pizza. And then you say, this is not what I expected, right? What they tell you is, okay, um, keep this one and we are going to bring you the one that you asked for, right? But that is if you complain. If you don't complain, you can eat the one that you got and that's okay, no problem. Yeah? Let's see. Expectation. What is an expectation? Expectativas. Yeah, expectativas, exactly. What is rich? You can reach your expectations. Alcanzar. Mm -hmm. Alcanzar, exactly. What is provide? Provide. <coughs> Brindar. Brindar. Provide. Mm -hmm. Okay. Proporcional, Miss? Mm -hmm. Proporcional, brindar, proveer, right? That's the okay. meaning of provide. Vale, check. As remember, you were dissatisfied here, right? You were totally dissatisfied. What can the customer do about this? What can you do? Yeah. The customer may ask for a refund. Is not happy with the product. Is the customer is dissatisfied with the product, he can ask for a refund. He may ask for a refund. Possibility, right? Or he might want a refund of that item. He might want a refund. The customer may buy at a different store the next time, 
might buy in a different store or may buy in a different store. The customer might complain about the service or the customer might complain about the product. He might not, he said, well, the, the store didn't provide a good service and it didn't reach my expectations. So I might go and buy in a different store the next day. Hmm. And I might talk to the supervisor, right? I might talk to the supervisor. I might not buy in that store anymore. No more, no more. So here we're talking about what things may happen after the customer getting dissatisfied. What are the possibilities? Remember, we're talking, uh, we're using here may and might with the meaning of possibility. I'm going to show you something. Here. Check. Uh, they have, might has different meanings, right? And may too. So we're going to talk about a couple of them. When we're talking about the future, right? We can use may or you can use might. We must do this one. Okay. So you say, mm, uh, Jack, may be coming to see us tomorrow. Jack might come to see us tomorrow. Perhaps Jack will come to see us tomorrow. So this is very probable, right? Oh dear, it's half past 10. We may be late for the meeting. We may be late or we might be late. There is a possibility in this case, right? Entonces, el may se utiliza means cuando no estamos seguros. De cuando algo. no estamos seguros, exactly. Y fíjense oh. que en este punto, hablando de possibilities, may and might are the same. When talking about no, possibility. Sí. I can use may and I can use might. Yeah? I may come tomorrow. I'm not sure. Right? I'm not sure. So if we are not sure about something in the present or in the future, we use may or we use might. She has no sleep. Oh, she may be tired. Right? But she might be tired. There is a possibility that she be tired. Yes? So possibility, may and might, what I was telling you, may and might uh, can be used to express possibility. For example, I'm not very sure, right? But I can say it might rain tomorrow. It might rain tomorrow. She might not come to the meeting. She might not come to the meeting. Possibly not. So we can use it in affirmative and we can also use it in negative. And remember we said that when we use can in affirmative, it has one meaning. When we use it in negative, it has totally the opposite meaning. But with the case of, of a May and might, there is not a big problem. So it doesn't change the, the meaning completely. We only say, hmm, it might rain tonight. There is a possibility. It might not rain tonight. There is no possibility, right? It is possible that it doesn't rain. I may need your help on the project. I may not need your help. So we just... Uh, can use it in affirmative or negative, but the meaning will not make, uh, like in the case of can, that as can, it is one thing, like it is possible to do something, but when you use can't, it becomes a prohibition. So it goes direct, very far with the meaning, right? 
it uh, means no. it is possibility or not possibility. Tell me who said miss. Uh, miss, ¿qué significa for us? Hmm? ¿Qué significa? En la última oración, he may ah, be waiting para for nosotros, me. por nosotros. Aquí sería oh, por. Uh -huh. por nosotros. He may okay. be waiting for us. Podría estar esperando por nosotros. ¿Verdad? El juego ah, okay. está esperando. Miss, en, entonces, eh, depende de lo que nosotros queramos decir, podemos utilizar tanto el make, el make como el might. Exacto. Solo que uno eh, habla de, en este caso sería podría, y el otro eh, es puede. posible. Puede ah. o podría, pero al final ¿Cómo? el meaning es el mismo, ¿verdad? En el único ah. caso en que may y might no tienen el mismo significado, o, o bueno, no es posible usar el might, es cuando usted quiere usar el may para permission. Porque may ah. no puede usar para permission, pero might no. Ok. Might eh, solo ahí es efectivamente el, el may. Ahí solo may. Sí. Okay. May I come in? May I go ah, out? Yeah. Yeah, so. May I use your computer? Permission. En ese caso, usted no puede decir my I use your computer porque no es posible, ¿verdad? Ahí solamente podemos usar me. Pero si usted está hablando de possibility, to, to express possibility, da igual que ocupe me o que ocupe my. Puede usar con el que más se sienta más cómodo, ¿verdad? Okay. Y, y al cambiarlo a negativo, solamente dice sí, que no es posible, ¿verdad? Okay. Usted lo que le decía, con el caso de Ken, si usted ocupa Ken, es posibilidad, pero si usted ocupa Kent, es prohibición. Entonces, wow. el significado se dispara totalmente diferente. Pero aquí no, estamos siempre dentro de posibilidad. Con May es posible, pero con Might no es posible. Right? Uh -huh. No se nos dispara un meaning totalmente diferente. Okay. Any question here? <coughs> no more? Va, look at this. What I was telling you, right, about me. You can use may to ask for permission in a formal way. May I borrow the car tomorrow? May we come a bit later? Or to give permission in a formal way. You may go now. You may come at 11 if you wish. Right? Those are permission that you're expressing permission that using may and you want to be formal. Remember that you can use can for permission too, right? El can y el may en algunos casos tienen el mismo significado. Por ejemplo, para permission. Usted puede perfectamente usar may o can para permission. Va a depender de si quiere ser formal o informal. To be formal, you use may. To be informal, you can use can. Can I borrow the car tomorrow? Can I come late tomorrow? ¿Qué tanta confianza tiene con la otra persona como para decirle o pedirle el permiso usando quién o usando me? ¿Sí? Also, remember, to give permission, you use me. No might. ¿Verdad? Porque cuando hablamos de permission, no puedo usar might. Solamente me. ¿Ok? Now, ¿cuándo usamos might? Solamente we, might. Might, sí. We use might when we are not sure about something in the present or future. ¿Se acuerdan que también el may es para eso, verdad? You say, I might see you tomorrow. It looks nice, but it might be very expensive. Podría estar muy caro, right? Podría. It's quite bright. It might not rain today. It might not. It's not possible. Or oh, it's possible that it doesn't rain today. 
Yeah? It might not. I might not come tomorrow. Puede que no venga. Right? There is a possibility that I not come, that I don't come tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So remember, in this position, or in this case, in this context, may I might act the same. Okay? Question. No question, nos podemos ir a los exercises. No questions. No. <laughs> no me responden, le digo yo. Yes, no. No questions. But I know. Bye. Uh, we are going to make, uh, to create the questions here, or to create sentences. Use the words given, he not be satisfied. Recuerden que estamos usando may or might, ¿verdad? You have to use may or might, así como los ejemplos. He might not be satisfied. Si a usted le gusta may, it's okay. Si a usted le gusta ma might, it's okay. ¿Ok? Pueden usar may or might to write the sentences. Y ahí no hay problem, teacher. No, no problem, porque significan lo mismo. Okay. Si, estamos, si estamos hablando de possibility, no problem. Si estamos hablando de permission, entonces sí. ¿Verdad? Ahí lo único que puede usar es may, pero no might. Uh -huh. Y ahorita, porque los únicos modals que nos están mandando a usar son may or might. Pero también para possibility usted puede usar could. ¿Se acuerdan? Que ayer les mencionaba eso. El could se puede usar para un polite request, pero también para, para hacer una, para hablar de una possibility. Possibility. ¿Ok? Pero ahorita no, no vamos a olvidar del could y vamos a usar solamente may or might, el que a ustedes les guste más. Los voy a mandar a los grupos un ratito, un ratito, nada más, porque no sé, lo siguiente es su conversación que van a hacer usando may or might. Entonces, el que vaya terminando con las oraciones puede empezar con la conversation, se lo voy a enseñar. El que vaya terminando de ubicar las oraciones pueden empezar. Uh, to create a conversation where you are dissatisfied with the product and say what you may or might, or might do about it. ¿Qué va a hacer con el producto sobre el cual usted no está satisfecho? ¿Verdad? ¿Qué podría hacer? Usando so, may or might en su conversación. Pueden retomar los mismos temas que estaban hablando al principio, ¿verdad? Bye. But first thing, the sentences. That's the first thing you would do. Vámonos. Let's see. I'm going to recreate eh, the rooms. Vamos a ver. Richard, no se le va a olvidar el anuncio. ¿Ah? ¿Qué me dijo? ¿Qué, ¿Qué me dijo? ¿Qué me dijo? Que no se le va a olvidar el anuncio. El anuncio. Ah, el anuncio, sí, sí. Y mire, y se no me podría. acaban de salir dos personas. Sí, 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 sí. Ay, lo voy a dar ya. Antes de que se me olvide. No podría. Sí. El anuncio es este. Que yo he andado recogiendo notas. Recuerdan que le dije que iba a actualizar ayer. Uh -huh. Ay, pues sí. Tengo Brian Alexander, Camilo. No me han trabajado plataforma. Eh, tengo también, bueno, David, ya no está, Eric Gerardo y Guillermo. Eh, Belisario acaba de entrar, pero ya probamos no, si puede entrar, tiene cuenta. Entonces, eh, traten de entrar a la plataforma lo más pronto posible. Viernes recojo notas de unidad 2, ¿verdad? Y de examen de medio curso. Ya no podemos llevar pendiente la unidad 1. Ya eso ya está muy, 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 ¿verdad? Muy, mucho retraso. Entonces tengo eh, 
Elmer con 20% y Clarixa con 20%. Tengo muchos espacios vacíos en unidad 2. Y recuerden... ¿Y de la unidad 1, teacher? ¿Cómo estoy? Eh, Clarixa. Uh -huh. Sí, Clarixa. En la unidad 1 sí está al 100. Ahí está completo. ¿Verdad? Entonces, recuerden que hoy, okay. eh, hoy okay. yo estaría... En la 2 es que tengo el 20%. Sí, en la 2 tiene el 20%. Ya hoy ustedes tendrían que estar completando la tarea número 8, ¿verdad? Para que no se les acumule. Porque recuerden que el viernes yo voy a estar recogiendo eh, tarea número 10 y examen de medio curso, ¿verdad? Entonces traten de ponerse al día lo que me deben viernes. todavía. Sí. Este viernes, de hecho. Este viernes, este viernes yo recojo unidad 2, ¿verdad? Completa unidad 2 y examen de medio curso. Ok. Entonces, hay que ponerse allí al día, ¿verdad? Si les falta algún su poquito. Los que ya terminaron, pues bien galán, se pueden donar. No, problema. Ah, otro anuncio, fíjense por qué. Sí, teacher. Antes de que me vayan a jalar el aire a mí. Eh, llevo dos personas que se me van, pero escabullendo. Le digo, fulanito se queda conmigo hoy. Y cuando voy a ver, ya se fueron. Entonces, hoy le toca a Eric quedarse. Eh, en la clase 6 le tocaba a Débora y se me escapó. En la clase de ayer le tocaba a Elmer y se me escapó. Oh, la clase, quiero ver solamente, Brian no estuvo el día que le tocaba, ni Camilo. Entonces, fíjense que hasta ahorita solo se han quedado conmigo tres personas, ¿verdad? Entonces, Rosy, que tomó un día de los que estuve solita, Clarixa sí se quedó el día que le tocaba, y este Daniel, sí, sí. Que, se, y Daniel que se quedó también cuando le tocaba, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, solamente tengan en cuenta eso. Recuerden el primer día de, de clase, les comentaba yo, de las sesiones one on one, no son inventos de la teacher, el requerimiento de, de Isa por ¿verdad? Que se le den esos 10 minutos. Así yo sería la primera feliz en salir corriendo cabal a las 10 de la noche para que me ¡Ah! se termine de convertir Muy más corrido y subirlo antes y dormirme más temprano, pero ahí es un tiempo, unos 10 minutitos, ¿verdad? Si es que, eh, hagamos el esfuerzo, solo, solo, solo es una vez, ¿verdad? Solo es una vez que le va a tocar que quedarse hasta las 9 y 12 y, y ya el resto de, de, de los días ya no, ¿verdad? Entonces, hoy se queda conmigo, y le voy a dar las la fechas otra vez, ¿verdad? Hoy se queda conmigo Eric, mañana Erika, el, el viernes Guillermo, lunes próximo Isaías, martes Ivette Elvira, el miércoles Carla Vanessa, el jueves Luis Enrique y el otro viernes Manuel, ¿verdad? Hasta ahí lo dejo, sí, porque si no se nos van a olvidar todos los demás. Recuerden allí el día que les toca, pero vamos en orden alfabético, ¿verdad? Según la lista, según la lista, porque así no nos perdemos. Oye, si algún día usted no puede, eh, temprano póngase de acuerdo con otro compañero que se quede en su lugar y, y ya hacen el, el cambio con alguien que aún no haya pasado todavía. ¿Verdad? Y si no, pues, este, si alguien ve que nadie se quedó y quiere, tiene alguna duda, puede aprovechar también el espacio hoy. Vaya, vámonos ya. Let's go to the groups. Remember, put the, put the, the sentences, make the sentences using may and might. And when you finish, You can start Desde que nos mande puede compartir para todos eh, mis ¿Qué cosa, las preguntas. ¿Perdón? Las preguntas que vamos a resolver. Ahí están en el manual, Lupita. 
ya la pio. El manual page sí. 20, 24. 24, ¿verdad? 24. Uh -huh. sí. 24. Sí, estas son del manual. Page 24, exacto. Vaya, pues, vámonos. Join, join. Uy, esperen, me voy a volver a hacer los grupos porque tengo menos de cuando los mandé a hacer. Ok, let's go. Join, join. Deborah, try to join. Daniel is waiting for you. Deborah, Deborah, do you have problems to enter the group? Las líneas de como de lo que debe de ser, ¿verdad? Vamos a, usar, vamos uh -huh. a crear oraciones usando la, las palabritas manual. que están ahí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. sí. Según lo que está entre paréntesis. para Yo aquí ya había hecho la 1, pero no sé si está bien. Dice, you may not be satisfied, como satisfied. de satisfacción, satisfied, satisfied with satisfied. the food. Satisfied, satisfied with the food. Satisfied. Uh -huh. Él no está satisfecho. Uh -huh. okay. Con la comida. With the food. Uh -huh. Repítala. You may not be satisfied. With the food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You may not be satisfied with the food. Want to be large, be large. ¿Qué significa longer? ¿Qué significa? Más, más, lugar, más intenso. La garantía. Warranty. La garantía es más larga. Es larga. Puede ser larga. Longer warranty. Mm. Sí, the guarantee my 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 be longer. The service not be excellent. Might not be excellent. The service may the service be may not excellent. May not. May not be excellent. May. May not. May not be excellent. Be excellent. Now, what is it? You recommend. Mm. Si podría recomendar. You recommend. He. He may. He may. 
recommend uh, the article the article the article article the article you may recommend the article mm -hmm. may you recommend the new bell Está bien, también. Aquí sería The Ride Be in a Hurry. No sé qué es eso. Repeat. Hurry. Hurry. Hurry, dice ahí, no sé. Hurry, 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 in a hurry, 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 in a hurry. Being a hurry means eh, a la carrera. Sí, verdad. Uh -huh, that's in a hurry. Mike. En la dos tengo Mike. Mike. Uh -huh. The water uh -huh. Mike. Uh -huh. The water is Mike. The longer. Uh -huh. The longer. Mike. The longer. Mike. Long. Mike. Uh -huh. Long. Uh -huh. The service may. Service Mike. May. Mike. Not the excellent. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. La cuatro. En la trema. Sí. Es de la trema. Uh -huh. Dimay. Dimay. Uh -huh. Dimay. Dimay recommend. No, Dimay. Dimay recommend. Dimay. 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 Uh -huh. Y en las seis, Amanda might not use. Amanda might not, not use. Amanda y might. TV tomorrow. Yo le puse TV, pero ahí le han puesto computer. Como para complementar, vea. Ah, un complemento. Un complemento, ajá. ¿eh? O sea, usando la, el complemento para formar la oración. Amanda May. Amanda no puede usar el computer o de cell. Uh -huh. O lo que sea, ajá, el producto ah, que usted quiera producto, elegir, digo yo. Cualquier producto. Uh -huh. Ajá, un TV. De un... machine. Uh -huh. Un machete. Un Ay. Una cable. <ríe> Sus productos. Mis <ríe> productos que usted quiera. Uh -huh. My products. My My products. <ríe> My different product. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. La conversation. Mala conversation. Ah, la conversación. Me acuerdo de eso. Sí, pero está mal. Ay, no, que mucho hablo. Sí, ya sé. Y a veces me hago a mí también. Suave, le digo yo. Mire, y en la conversación le está aquí en el manual o, o uno tiene que formar. Ustedes la van a hacer. Ah, yo la tengo que hacer. Sí. Ah, sí, con respecto me... a las mismas, usando ah, las mismas. Pueden usar la misma situación que, que buscaron al principio. Uh, yo los productos. Uh -huh. Exacto. Pero usando my. Ajá. May o my. Usando my. my may o my. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Mm. May or might. 
came out from the Bueno, ¿sabes qué productos pusieron ustedes? Podemos tomar uno de estos. Ah, nosotros con, con Débora, ella dijo de que un vestido que había comprado. Vestido. Y de ahí estaba Desirified. Un teléfono. Disparified. Un teléfono. Otro, de los, de los que ¿Otro un teléfono. Ah, sí, un ah, teléfono sí. era. Cell phone. Teléfono, ahora cell phone. Ajá, my life. Purchaser was a cell phone. Eso es lo que habíamos agarrado nosotros, el producto. Okay. Satisfaction. Okay. Satisfaction. Very good. Satisfaction. Entonces right. aquí. Tenemos que acoplarlo al mail, al mail. Ajá, el producto, digo yo, ¿cuál sería entonces? Eso, eso, el suyo, el, el, el teléfono. El teléfono. Uh -huh. Ajá. Vaya, ahorita le vamos a preguntar a Clarissa. Hello, uh -huh. Clarissa. What do you put? Uh, hello. Um, my. ¿Qué lo vamos a copiar? Mar, 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 pulsarse. Um, no creo. Ajá, pero no sé qué poner. Porque supongo que nos teníamos que solo guía por lo que estaba ahí. Podría ser Amanda may not use before, before I go to bed. Uh -huh. Miss, we finish. You finish the conversation too? Which conversation, Tisha? The one I told you at the end. The point to number six. When you finish the sentence, you go for the conversation. <clears throat> ya lo vieron. ¿A dónde, teacher? Ando, eh, point number six, ahí en la página 24. Aquí. Uh -huh. Page. Abajo, abajo, abajo. Ajá, exacto. Ajá. You will create a conversation where you are dissatisfied with a product. And then say what you may or might do about it. So you say, for example, I might call the... the the customer service. Right? I might report the problem. I might uh, say something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Erika está por ahí. Débora está por ahí. Ya no está Erika. No. Ah, no, no. No, no Erika, Erika, Erika. No. Es que ya estaba, pero ya no está. Ya estuvo problema. Vamos a ver, se aparece por ahí y se las mando de nuevo. Bueno.
Entonces, ay, esa foto como me fueron a captar así. Ay, mis, es que, I'm sorry, mis, está bien elegante. Mirando besitos. Qué barbaridad, qué barbaridad. Ay, no, mis. Mande para Me sale más fácil capturar la imagen y proyectarla y compartirla. Sí. Vaya, eh, ya, ya las oraciones las hicimos. Ahorita estamos creando ya eh, la conversación. El Ajá. Eh, eh, para romper el hielo, tomamos eh, Estela, que es, eh, en este momento que estamos haciendo el diálogo, eh, el inicio de la conversación que me imagino que tuvieron allá. Uh -huh. eh, eh, la, conversación, la conversación va a ser de, de un cliente hablando al call center por, de, de, de dicha empresa por un reclamo. Entonces inicia eh, Estela y dice, Thanks so much for calling. Estela is speaking. How can I help you? Entonces ahí salgo yo molesto. Eh, ya sí, ya, ya no tengo. Como estoy molesto, no, 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 no. Ya no, no saluda. No soy muy no, no 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 okay. Entonces, No, pero sí, la cortesía, ay, Estela. Ay, Estela. Eh, oh, good afternoon. Ah, sí, ma. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good ¿Podrías comprar otra marca? O sea, repite la, la, la question. Ah, es que si, siento que si le ponemos you might, es, ah. eh, podría, o sea, cámbiala. Ah. Uh -huh. you might. Podría, no, puede, uh -huh. Uh -huh. puede comprar otra marca, pero siento que uh -huh. es mejor. You might. Podría, you might. Puede. Ajá, might. podría, puede, Ajá. Might. puede, you, you might. Might. puede comprar otra marca you, o you may, podrías comprar otra marca. ¿Cómo se llama? Ay, ustedes, yo siento, yo, yo puedo, Igual, o sea, las dos son, tú puedes comprar. Puede. Other. Pero, pero no nos, pero Marca. ella nos dijo de que estaba satisfecha con el producto. She was podría, podría, sí, pero, podría. Yo creo que, que se le pone la pregunta, que aunque esté satisfecha, pero podría comprar otro producto para probar. Ajá. Digo, o sea, como para hacer comparación, si, si es este el otro mejor o, o, o lo supera, algo así. No porque le, le, le está satisfecho, no puede querer probar otro. Sí, sí. Bye. Pues va. May buy other brand. Y, y luego que, eh, por decirle, salen buenos o son buenos o sería bueno. They are good. They are good. Sería bueno. Okay. Oh my, pero oh my product good. Podría ser bueno. My product. It might be good. It might. It might be good. Be good. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Gracias. Thank you, teacher. Okay. <coughs> It might be good. Cool. 
¿Cómo se dice características? Características. 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 Eh, allí no le podemos preguntar a ella. Sí. You, you know, you know your characteristics? No. 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 Ahora. No, no, es como K y no. The characteristics. Oh, no. oh, ajá. You know. You know, you know pero um, sa, sa, sabes, y saber. You know. Sus características, o, oh, oh. ¿cómo se podría formular ahí? ¿Conoces? Co oh. o ¿Conoces todo acerca de él? Como pregunta. ¿O tú podrías mencionarme algunas características? ¿O cómo se podría formular ahí? Can you mention some characteristics? Ah. Can you make some characteristics? Can you make can you mention some characteristics? Can you mention some characteristics? Uh -huh. Vaya, Clarice, allí díganos qué características tiene. Ok. Uh, el cellphone, el teléfono, other. Es uh, suyo. Sí, sí, me voy. My, oh, sí. my, my, eh, my, my characteristics. Así, ¿verdad? Sí, digo yo. No porque no son sus características, sino que el del teléfono. Ah, sí, la del, ah. del, del teléfono. Its characteristics yeah. are. O yo que sé, iris. Tiene más velocidades, así como de gigabyte. Así como le diría. Uh -huh. oh, it, has... Pero... it has. It has. This character ¿Eh? are. It has. This has. Three gigabytes. Characteristics. It has three gigabytes. The gigabytes. It has. It is the number. The more. The more gigabytes. No sería. No. It has more gigabytes. Ah. Uh -huh. More gigabytes. Uh -huh. It has more gigabytes. Ah, uh, y este promociones de Baxon, o sí, para música, oír música por uno para dar un tiempo. Mm -hmm. Y de música, tiene dan promociones así como Baxon. Music. Que las personas cuando hable oiga la música que uno ha elegido. Uh -huh. Music promotion. Ajá. Uh -huh. The music. Music promotion. Music promotion, promotion, ¿eh? Promotions. Uh -huh. Music promotions. Uh -huh. Ahí vamos, y luego vamos a responder. Oh, really? I may, I, I may need one. I might, I might, I might need one, or I may need one. My, need one. My, I might need one. I might need one. 
Oh, really? I might need one. Repeat, please. <laughs> I might Don't need you. one. I might. I might. Do? I might need one. I might need one. Uh-huh. Might con TH. No, HT. Might. 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 I might need one. Uh -huh. Y luego vamos a poner ya para cerrar. Ay. Yo también podría necesitar uno, sería I. I might. I might. Might. I might. I might need one too. Need one too. Need. Need need one 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 two one two. I might need one two. I might need one two. Mm -hmm. I might need one two. Okay. I might need one two. Y allí por último nos va a cerrar Clarix y nos va a decir, ok, I am a satis satisfied. I am, I am satisfied. Muy bien. Dale me si gusta usted. Ah, yes. Ok, allá me dijo. And... This satisfied. 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 Ajá, satisfied. Ajá, gracias. Coming, coming, running, running, everybody. Waiting for everybody to be back. Let's see. What do you have in number one? Number one, he. He, he might. might. He might not. Be satisfied. Satisfied. He might not be satisfied. What about number two? Warranty? Warranty. Maybe longer. Maybe longer. Number three, the service? May not be excellent. May not be excellent. Okay. Number four? You, you may recommend. You may recommend it. Para ponerle the service. Que tan cortito, ¿verdad? You may mm. recommend it. Number five, the waiter may be in a hurry, might be in a hurry. Mm -hmm. Amanda may not, may not, may may not use it. Uh -huh. Amanda may not use it. Okay, very good. Tomorrow, I want to listen to you with your conversations. Oye. 
Ok, Miss. Voy a okay. hacer captura porque eh, después se nos olvida. ¿Y con quién iba a saber? No sé, no me acuerdo. Pero está, entonces. Yo... No, yo lo, lo estuvimos practicando con Estela, así que mañana con mucho gusto. Yes. Yes. Voy a dejar, voy a dejar guardaditos los, los grupos. Sí, grupos. Para que mañana. Ya sea que al inicio o más allá, cito, cuando ya estén la mayoría, ¿verdad? Los vamos a oír. Vaya, así me quedo con, con quién va en cada grupo. Ok, vaya, tell me present. Brian Alexander. Present. Brian, no está Brian. ¿Alguien sí. recuerda haber visto a Brian? La semana no. pasada. La semana pasada. No. Sí, Camilo. Camilo, Camilo, present. Present. Claritza, present. Claritza. Present, teacher, present. Present. Ok, hoy Daniel Eduardo. Present. Present, teacher. Débora, Stephanie. Present. Débora. Elmer Antonio. Present teacher. Eric Lardo. Erika Joana. Present teacher. Guillermo. Guillermo. Alguien vio a Guillermo por ahí. No, teacher. No, ¿verdad? No, no, no me suena. Y Isaías Present Yvette Present Carla Vanessa Luis Enrique Present Manuel Antonio Present teacher Reina Estela Present teacher Rosibel Present teacher Reina sí, ¿verdad? Por ahí está Rosibel, Vanessa, present, present teacher, Elvina Lupita, y Antonio. Ok, perfect. Present. See you tomorrow. See you. Good night. Good tomorrow. Have a nice night. Bye. Bye bye. Take care. Tomorrow. Bye bye. Tomorrow. Bye bye. See you. See you.